You okay? From the moment he spotted this wild owl on the side of the road, Carson could tell that something was very wrong. The owl wasn't moving, and he looked scared. Carson wasn't a professional animal rescuer, but he knew he couldn't just leave this owl all alone. So he decided to become a hero. Carson had never cared for an owl before. What do you give an owl for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> he was going to need some help. But it was late at night and the local rescues were closed. Carson would have to keep the owl safe until the morning. Until then, his new friend needed a name. I shall name you Roger. Carson and Roger settled in for the night. Good night, Roger. And by the next morning... Can you see him? He's standing up, guys. <laughs> hey, Rog. <laughs> Roger was up on his feet. And sort of hog in the bathroom. Um. <laughs> Carson really loved his new friend. But he knew it was time to take Roger to the owl experts. Just because Roger was up on his feet didn't mean he was ready for the wild again. All right, guys. So they hit the road. There he is. And Carson left Roger with some professional rescuers. Bye, Roger. <laughs> he was sad to say goodbye to Roger, but he knew he had done the right thing for his owl friend. When the experts got Roger back to their owl sanctuary, they gave him a thorough checkup and discovered the problem right away. Roger's wing was bruised. He would have to stay at the rescue until he could learn to fly again. They cleaned up his injured wing and gave him some medicine to make sure he didn't get sick. Roger was pretty nervous about all the attention. He'd never been this close to humans before. But the vets could tell Roger was a very brave owl. After a couple of days, his wing was starting to feel better. But before they could set Roger free, they'd have to make sure his wing was completely healed. He would need some flying practice. Are you ready, Roger? Time for a test flight. Good job, Roger. Once Roger started flying, he couldn't be stopped. After two weeks, Roger was finally feeling like his old self. Soaring through the air and happy. At last, the time had come to bring Roger back to the wild. So the rescuers got him ready. They brought him to his home in the woods where somebody special was waiting for him. His friend Carson. What's up? Roger took a moment and looked at all the people who had come to his rescue. In his own way, Roger was saying thank you to Carson and the other heroes. They said their goodbyes. Bye, Rog. <laughs> and off he went. Now, Roger's back in the wild where he's happiest but he'll always remember his rescuers. And they'll never forget him either. It's not every day you spot an owl on the side of the road and become a hero. Solo Kids. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.